Welcome back to Harbaugh. First of all, I want to thank Michael Spracanis for sitting in for me last week on Harbaugh. I was over in Rome with the, uh, the new uh, Cardinal from Washington, uh, Cardinal Crawl. Cardinal uh, Whirl. Anyway, there's a giant game of chicken getting underway right here in Washington, and neither Democrats nor Republicans want to swerve. Democrats in Congress are keeping a close eye on how President Obama navigates politically over the next month. Will he hold the line on Bush tax cuts? How hard will he fight for don't ask, don't tell? And most importantly, for some in the liberal base, will he stand firm against Republicans? Well, joining me right now is Congressman Dennis Kucinich of Ohio and Congressman Steve Cohen of Tennessee. Thank you, gentlemen. I have great respect for you. You got through this election. This is a tough one. And I think that anybody who gets through this doesn't have to worry about general elections from the uh, Republicans anymore, because this may be the worst of your histories. Let me start now with Congressman Kucinich. It seems to me that the public, everybody knows the issue now. Will the, uh, the president agree to the uh, Republicans when they insist on a full extension of the Bush tax cuts, including those for people making over $250,000? a year. How does the president face the fact it takes 60 senators to approve uh, a continuation of the tax cuts? And unless the Republicans give him those 60 votes, he will find himself facing two choices. Either the public doesn't get the tax cut and they blame him over Christmas and the holidays. The Republicans come in and give them the tax cuts or he takes help from the progressive base. How does he win that, that, that choice? Well, I, I think this is uh, time for the president to go right to the American people who vote for these members of the Senate and tell the American people that he wants to deliver on a tax cut for the middle class. I, I think the dynamic has to change, Chris. We're clearly in a game-changing environment. After this election, the president is in a campaign mode. He has to be faced with the consequences of uh, if he doesn't get help, he needs to go to the American people and say he wants their help and he wants them to contact their senators to support his efforts to bring the middle class a tax cut. Congressman McKellen, what would you do? What do you think he should do? He does have this dilemma facing him in the next couple of weeks. I think he's got to play hardball. I think he's got to just say that we want to give tax cuts to the middle class, the 98 percent, where it will stimulate the economy, and the other 2 percent continues to contribute to the deficit and doesn't help with the economy. Yeah. And I think he just has to say it and, and talk, maybe just go to Maine. He just needs a couple of votes. And he could get yeah. him in Maine and Massachusetts. Well, he, needs, uh, he could get a couple there. He could get somewhere perhaps in Ohio from Voinovich. Uh, you know, the question is, what does he do? Do you believe that uh, if you first, Congressman Cohen, in this time, do you think he has the clout to do what Roosevelt couldn't do, which is to nail somebody in their district and really make them switch? You believe that's possible? He could get some Republicans. I think it's possible when he talks 98 percent of the American public has got their tax cuts and you're looking at the richest 2 percent. I think he can make the case. And this is a Democratic uh, stand that he needs to take. And if he doesn't, the Bush tax cuts are an anthem for Democrats. And to capitulate to that, there's no difference in the parties. I got an email today and it was about Afghanistan and Iraq. And this fellow said he's always a Democrat, but he's not voting for Barack and he's not voting for Steve if we're still in Afghanistan, if we're still okay. committing wars. Let's let's go to the. I understand that point of view. Let me uh, let me get back to uh, Congressman Kucinich on this question. Maybe you don't want to give away the play right now, but it comes down to mid-December. It's coming up on Christmas time and the holidays, and the president can't spring those Republicans. Does he sign the bill or not? They send. Does he accept the fact they they have won the fight, or does he just go over Christmas and the holidays and say, I don't care what the Republicans do when they get control of the House. No Democratic House is going to agree to this deal. I, I think. Does that, he win uh, that argument if he if he goes that far to not I, letting people have their tax cuts through Christmas? I think that he has to fight on this, and I think the American people appreciate to see Barack Obama, the fighter who we saw in the 2008 election, uh, the Barack Obama who, when he was sworn in, literally had lightning in a bottle. There was a magic moment. We can recapture that moment, but he's going to need some forward momentum. We'll support him in the House. And if he takes that forward to the American people and says, this is something I'm digging in on, this is what I want for you, the Great. middle class, and I think that will make a difference. So Harry Truman, not Bill Clinton. Don't compromise. Right. Fight it. Go to, That's right. Give him hell. That's right. You agree with that, Congressman Cohen? Give this him hell. This is a litmus test. This is a litmus test. And okay, let's go, to a, let's go to a hot issue with not just the, the gay community in the country and those who are close to them, but the whole question of progressives and where they stand on equal treatment towards an open service in the military. The, uh, the commission's going to come out with this report at the end of this month. Uh, we're going to know probably that the military supports uh, ending Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Can the president put enough pressure on those senators again? to get the 60 he needs to get this thing approved, the change in the law. Congressman uh, uh, Cohen first. 
Well, it's tied to the defense appropriations, and I think he can get it through with the defense appropriations, particularly if there are earmarks there that are that are important to people's districts. You know, Barry Goldwater was for e ending Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and the conservatives ought to be able to rally at least to be as liberal as Barry Goldwater. Congressman Kucinich, do you think he can win on Don't Ask, Don't Tell? Now, this is a weird one because the military, through the Joint Chiefs, supports change. Gates says it's better the Congress do it than the courts. It's more reasonable to do it that way. It's more a smoother way to do it. But the Marines at the top seem to be very much against this. Is this going to be a position that they can hold? Can they hold I, that position? I, I think that the president can set a tone here of basic fairness. If somebody's serving our country, that's a sacred obligation that they give and a duty to the country. We owe them then a duty to make sure that they're treated uh, like any other American and not have to be given a second-class citizenship. So I think this is something, again, that's worth fighting for, and the president will have support in the House, as he has had support in the House on this. And I think that we see the change happening in the military. That's a good thing. It may not be happening in all the service, but I think that uh, everyone who serves this country knows that when somebody puts on a uniform of a country and, and, and serves proudly, uh, that they ought to be given full rights in a democratic society. Congressman Cohen, do you think times have changed enough since the time that Bill Clinton came in and put this up front or allowed it to become a top issue? Does he get humiliated by the center and the right on this issue like Clinton was, where Clinton really took a strong stand, then had the buckle? Is it, have times changed enough on this issue that he can say, I'm for getting rid of Don't Ask, Don't Tell for total open service of gay people in the military, period, and I don't mind who doesn't, doesn't like it? I think times have changed. I think the fact is the president has to realize when he runs for re-election, he's going to have to have his base. And he's not going to get the Republicans, and he's not going to get those people who are against these type things. So the people who are against gays in the military, by and large, they're against health care. They're against all the progress that we've made in this country, so much of the progress. And they scream socialism when they don't even know what socialism is. The president needs to support the people that have supported him, get his 50 percent, and, and, and just show some, some results wow. for his action and show change. Yeah. You both make a good case. I like your case. I think you're right. Harry Truman may be uh, making a comeback here. Thank you so much, Congressman Kucinich and Congressman Thank Cohen. You,